pocket monster. That's Pokemon. Um, he told me to get this like Pokemon app right here. Pokemon. Pokemon was the pokey and the man in the thing. Mm, pocket monsters. Pokemon. 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 It's a Japanese term short for pocket monster. Pokemon. 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 It's the newest Pokemon. Son, I found out that Pokemon means pocket monster. Hail Pokemon. Yeah! Pokemon. Mantine's Confuse Ray! Oh. And it works great. Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the Pokemans Podcast. I am Professor Grass. With me, as always, is Grammatical. Yo, what's up? And Pokegeek. Yo. You know, we like to talk Pokemans. That's what we do. We get together every week. We talk a little bit of Pokemans. We get to have a little fun. We have a couple laughs. Have a little bit of, you know, CBDX in our systems. We have a little bit of fun on this channel. So, today, uh, I wanted to bring you some uh, dark, disturbing news that uh, uh, is also Pokemans related. Um, AI predicts that Pokemon cards could be... The next form of currency if the world ends or the U.S. dollar fails. I'm down. I got a German Charizard. I think I'll be alright. <laughs> all right. um, so what do you think about that, Grammatical? Because I know that in Fallout, the whole deal with the bottle caps was, well, they're indestructible, essentially. They're fucking, they're metal, you know, like... Pokemon cards is not indestructible, but, you know, oh, hell no. whatever, but, like, uh, how do you feel about Pokemon cards being a currency? I mean, anything could be a currency if it gets to, like, that desperate of a situation. It's just whatever value people want to put on it. That's true. So if, like, all the people left, if all the people left in the apocalypse are huge Pokemon fans, then, yeah, you're, you're, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> just is that really, is that really going to be the... You know, it doesn't say apocalypse. It just says if the U.S. dollar fails. You know, I, I just my mind goes to like you know, world ending scenario. What is the likelihood that all the Pokemon fans are the survivors? Yeah. Well, I know what we Fair. could do. We could go and raid Jake Paul's house if the apocalypse happens, because he's got no way. He ended up buying fake cards, didn't he? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's hilarious. Alright, uh, anyway, that was my first little bit. I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, so, uh, I I'm just gonna go first, because I'm a piece of shit. Taking over the fucking spot. Uh, I follow Pro Mario. I think he's funny. I like the, uh, News You Missed stuff he does. Very informative dude, really funny dude also. But he was, like, on Twitter, and he was like, I'm gonna need a self-scope self -scope real quick. Self-scope. Self scope real quick, and it's for the new terrestrialization uh, ghost ghost type, which I thought that was hilarious, and I didn't do put two and two together until I start started seeing people putting that up there. And he was the first one I seen that did that. I'm sure there was other people who probably did it before him, but for me, he was the first one that did it. So I put him up there because wow, that's that's what a connection. That's funny as fuck. What other uh, I'm not sure. what other like. Stuff like because the poison types just gonna be skull and crossbones, right? Mm -hmm. Is that supposed to be like a reference to like wheezing or coughing's fucking symbol that they have on them? I guess, yeah. Is it gonna be like all references to different things that have happened in the Pokemon, or is it just that? And I'm just going too far with the fucking poison type one. I don't think so <laughs> because we've seen the grass and the water and the fire in the normal, right? In the normal and. Fires a candelabra. Well, I don't know what that would be a reference to besides maybe Sandalure. Um, the water is like a water spout, like a fountain. Yeah. I mean, 
water spout the move, I guess, maybe. And then the flowers, the flowers just doesn't, I mean, what would the flowers be? It's just like random ass flowers That's sticking fair. out of your hat, your head. That's fair. I don't know. I see that. I was like, yeah, that's cool. It's funny. Uh, honestly, I don't even remember what the fuck this is. Hopefully, it's not something bad. Oh, right. Uh, Svetlana Likova uh, on Twitter. As the steampunk water types, you got your star me and your horse, or star you and your uh, horsey. Nice. That's, that was kind of cool. That horsey's cool. Yeah. And then also on Twitter, um, I'll go ahead and pull it up so we can see who it was. Rukura, Rukia, Rukia, Rukuria. Since Pokemon Scarlet Valley was coming out soon, made an iPhone wallpaper, Sprigatito, Boy Coco, and Waxley, but their names are in different languages. So I thought that was very interesting that they did that. So let's go ahead and pull them up, see what they say, so you guys can see them a little better. I pull them up on Twitter. Spray Coco. Uh, we could spray Coco Waxley. <laughs> I like this uh, down here. Which what language is this? I don't know. That, they didn't label it. It's like pistachios, chocolate, and coffee. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of cute. But yeah, Marie, different languages. Orkel, and then Quax. It's just called Quax. Quax. <laughs> oh my god! It's literally it's it's literally chocodile. Right? Truck style. <laughs> I hope the fucking shiny's brown now. <laughs> That's pretty good. Cool. Pokemon hostess crossover bring chocodiles back. Fuck yes. <laughs> Fuck yes. Um, and then uh Okay, so I got this thing here. If I can get it to load here. Uh apparently I didn't know this, but Game Freak confirms Pokemon Arceus started before development of Sword and Shield. So that means that um, that means that they were already working on Legends Arceus before they started on Sword and Shield. Mm -hmm. So like that's probably why the Wild Area is the way it is. It was kind of well, no, because that means that like how does that work? Did they just Go, okay, well, here's a tease at what's coming on to Legends Arceus then. Because I thought it was the other way around. That's exactly what it is. They started that, it shifted for whatever reason, and then the DLC reflected more of what it was going to be, and then they released that game afterwards as this is what it was going to be. Yeah. They yeah, always... Makes perfect sense. They always work on other games simultaneously. And there's... It kind of spreads game freak, game freak a little thin, but they have basically an A team and a B team. They've said this before. Their yeah. their A team works on the main story story um, until it's time for the new the new game to start. So then they'll start. So say like uh, I, the example I seen on that website was Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee and Sword and Shield. Okay. They uh, the A team start started Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. And then gave it to a different group. And then they focused on Sword and Shield. And then when they were getting close to being done with Sword and Shield, A-Team started working on Legends Arceus. While Sword and Shield was still in development or whatever. They, they yes. I'm sure they thought about Legends Arceus before Sword and Shield. Yeah. Because, I mean, uh, Sinnoh remakes. We, we know Sinnoh remakes were coming. There's been a theory that Legends Arceus was supposed to be our... Uh, Diamond and Pearl remake, but then for some god awful reason we got Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. You got what? We I said for some god awful reason we got Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. That doesn't exist. <laughs> they need yeah, we don't talk about that. That doesn't exist. Honestly, they need to remake that remake. Yeah, that's speaking of. I should have grabbed it for prep. 
there was stuff all over YouTube and stuff. Their modding community has been fixing Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. It is hilarious. They unchibified the fucking characters. They made it to where you can get like Crystal Onyx and like Armored Mewtwo and just any fucking Pokemon under the sun. Edited a bunch of animations. Yeah, all sorts of cool shit. Fixed it char- uh, character <laughs> animations. Fixed uh, Pokemon animations. Changeable. Fixed lighting. There's a whole bunch of stuff I've been seeing. Yeah, so it's. It's a very exciting community, that modding community. It's not out yet, either. The mod isn't available. The mod's not completely out yet, and they're working on stuff to get it all compatible and stuff. And apparently what they did was they made it a ditto so it can become any Pokemon. And then they just <laughs> swapped it out. So all of the uh, dex entries right now say the uh, ditto dex entry, I'm pretty sure. But uh, that was kind of interesting I seen today, too, when I just fucked up and didn't grab it. Um, there's one more thing that I have. Uh, grammatical. Uh, if you want, I'll try to share the screen for you. Give me a second. All right, grammatical. Can you um, can you see the screen just fine that I'm looking at right now? Yeah. So this uh website has a bunch of fake mon that are like in between uh evolutions of Pokemon and stuff. They also have fake Megas oh, okay. and stuff like that. Uh. Real quick, grammatical, I know you're a little bit impartial to unknown. How do you feel about the unknown amalgamation form? I've seen this before, actually. Right? Yeah. Well, this is their actual website of the um, artist that did all this cool art and stuff. Uh, all of them got together. Yeah, I it's, guess, basically, did this. it's basically just like a wishy-washy school thing, but with unknown. Yeah. It was a alternate form and stuff for that. I thought that was kind of cool. I'm yeah, that's cool. Find... I like it. Because there's like in between forms. I'm trying to find that. Oh, this is cool. Check out this one. I've seen it earlier. Uh, Horisk, which is like the in between forms of Kafarigas. Oh, okay. You got. Uh, Yamasks are the spirits of these. In, uh, Interred in graves. Where are you at? If uh, you mask, whatever you you can read it. You get the point. <laughs> Fucking some consider Horus to be uh, the spirit of ancient Pharaoh, and it has a gentle and calm nature, and is fond of looking after anything it can. However, it has no mercy for those who are cruel. I thought that was kind of dope. They even have a little dex entry type thing that I just read there. Very, very neat. That's cool. I like it. It would have to be like a um, a legendary or pseudo legendary or mythic though, because like if you think about it, if you take that dex entry literally and you like wander into a field of those things, it's like how many pharaohs were there really? (laughs) Right. (laughs) (coughs) Shit. Well, Sorry. Blue evolution. <laughs> Alternate evolution, I guess. <clears throat> Alternate. Fuck. Evolves when Puppet Boo. When the console's flipped upside down, just like um, uh, Malamar. Or whatever Malamar and. Yeah, EK. EK. Yeah. Cute. Kind of cool. Looks like a flying squirrel, kind of. Very cute. Okay, can you read the next entry for me? <laughs> um, gliding through the air, it lights up the night sky with its glowing face to show the lost spirits the way to the afterlife. <clears throat> Very cute. Very cool. <clears throat> Shit. I'll just do one more of these. Heaveon. Heaveon. A gravity Pokemon? I don't know how I feel about that. Don't need to be changing up types now. <laughs> Heavion and Dinsion. What a bail. Or Heavion. 
Torkoal evolution. That looks cool. All right, let's see this. What's this about? What's this like? Oh, yeah. Fire steel. I fucking can dig. Tor the tor tu Tuya? All right, Toruya. Toruya, okay. Tortuya? <laughs> the names, dude. The names are fucking really cool. I don't know how I feel about that Mega. Why I... not? Yeah, that Mega does not feel Pokemon styled yeah. at all. Yeah, yeah, it looks like a Digimon kind of, right? No, it's its own thing. That's like some weird mobile game spin-off knockoff yeah. of Pokemon art style. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, let's look at the Sableye. It's a pre-evolution. Pre-evolution? Okay, yeah. Oh, God. Whoa, that's weird. Uh, Claritide. Unable to Tyke. properly collect and eat gems, it hangs from the its mother's back, where it slowly feeds on crystals uh, growing off her. This process is also what usually dictates what gem it prefers to eat in the future. Level up with a ghost gem. A ghost gem. Interesting. Um, okay. <laughs> Alright, I think we'll uh, bail on that note. Uh, Am I crazy or Sableye genderless? I think Sableye is genderless. If you want to go check out any of these, go to inprogresspokemontumblr.com slash extras. I feel like... Um... Uh... See, I said I might be crazy. No, they have 50 50. It's 50 50. Yeah. Is it? Okay. See, I said I might be crazy. <laughs> what is it that I'm thinking of that's genderless? Is Rotom genderless? Yeah, Rotom's definitely genderless. I don't remember. No, maybe it's not. I don't think it is. I don't remember. A lightning bolt? How do you gender a lightning bolt? Yeah, Rotom doesn't have a gender, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, Professor, you got anything else? I'm out of stuff. Who's next? G, do you want to go, or do you want me to go? Uh, yeah, I'll go. Um, I just got a whole bunch of stuff. I think it's mostly just, like, memes and short little things. Um... How we do it? Am I Go ahead and share pulling your... this up and sharing screen? Yeah. Okay. You have technology, man. I'm still broke, all right? I gotta get my technology. Uh, it's from uh, Pokemon Brain Rot. Items in Pokemon be like... Yep. Eh. I've seen that, yeah. Yeah. Totally seen that the other day. Uh, I was like so mad. I was like, you can't even get well, I can't get back there. I'm a fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be so pissed. I'd be like, who the fuck put my goddamn snacks in this goddamn fucking thing all the way back here? Leftovers. Yeah. Yeah, my <laughs> leftovers back there. Uh from Ooh. Kumak in 17, we got some Lego Transformer Pokemons. These are pretty cool. <laughs> Let me translate this. Uh, making that Pokemon... Not... Stop. Not... Making Pokemon Transformation Robot with Lego. Oh, I didn't share that last time. It was in my prep. Be shit. Oh, yeah. Pokemon's in disguise. Er back red fresh if anybody's red fresh. actually watching holy fuck we're back red fresh we should be back okay uh next up i got <clears throat> this is a picture from metro city in shanghai of a massive Pokeball. Ooh, cool. Nice. Hell yeah. Very cool, very cool. Great. Pretty gnarly. I don't know 
what it's connected to a building is actually i mean it'd be great if it was just a pokemon center but i don't know <laughs> oh yeah that'd be good good, good marketing tool um, so light it up <laughs> every now and again uh fucking make your mind metro city shanghai Actually, curious. I want to know what this building is now. Uh, Massive Pokemon Shanghai China's promotion for Anessa Sunscreen Products X Pokemon collaboration. Okay, I did not see place. that coming. It's for yeah. sunscreen. It's like one of those commercials that start off and it's like, is this a porno? And then it's just like fucking yeah. something else, like fucking shoes or something. It's like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> There was not a foot shown in that whole fucking commercial. I just want to know what the building is itself. I get it's an ad. Say this is like uh, that Futurama thing where you get the, the the ads streamed right into your brain while you sleep. Like this is like this would be one of those ads. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is exactly what this ad feels like. You just keep falling through the sky through your bedroom, and it's just like buy sunscreen. It's like what? Also gives you electric powers, apparently. Also electric powers, by the way. <laughs> yeah, you rub it on and you just gain the electric type. Cute. Uh, okay, well that led down to think. I just wanted to know what the actual building it was that it's sitting on top of. Uh, apparently it okay. might just be like Sunscreen. a fucking billboard, essentially. It's just a building that people buy ads and put up on there. Well, that site doesn't want to load. Not a bad idea. Oh, Facebook, gross. Shanghai Daily. No, no, it might just be like a big kiosk thing. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I like it's it. It's basically just a big billboard, though. Yeah, I just wanted to know what it was sitting on top of, and I couldn't find that. All right. Um, what is this? I don't even know what this is. Well, oh, I, you had this, so I won't talk oh, about that. Yeah. Uh, that was actually my retweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you owe me a new cycle, Lazar. <laughs> damn it, Ash. The first Pokemon he fucking From... just murdered. <laughs> Dark Boy 1. Good stuff. Sure. Referring, yeah, here's the original reference. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking awesome. Oh, this is this is sort of related to Pokemon, not entirely, but uh, this really cool um person I follow on Twitter just has like all kinds of random video game stuff they post oh. daily. Uh, the Super Mario Broth. So the reason donut blocks appear donut shaped in 2D Mario games, but log shaped in 3D Mario games, is that they're not actually based on donuts, but tube shaped Japanese fish cakes called chikua instead. Details and images. So, uh, yeah, it's based on fish cakes. They look like a circle with a hole in the middle when viewed head on, but similar to a donut. This is the way donut blocks appear in 2D Mario games as their original appearance, but translators believe that changing the reference to donuts would still describe the shape while also not confusing Western audiences unfamiliar with Japanese food. And that leads into the whole changing the little rice cakes to jelly-filled donuts in Pokemon. Uh, Curiously, not the only case being translated as a donut in major Nintendo associated franchise for the benefit of non-Japanese audiences. But couldn't they have just yeah. simply just put Kyoga, or whatever the fuck it's called, and then just put Japanese dish. Where? Kyawa. I mean, I... You know, instead of, like, in the manual when they described it, instead of putting donut, they would just put Kyawa, Japanese dish. Well, back then, they didn't think that Japan would be very marketable. Japan's not a real place. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, I agree. It should have just been what it is. Like, there's no reason to change it up for another audience, because, like, it is what it is. Why would you pander? Like, yeah, I don't get that either. But, yeah, it's a whole marketing thing. Damn. I don't know what this food is. I don't like this game. Yeah. Why would I, I don't like Mario. He's not relatable enough. Maybe if it was donuts, maybe I would get. 
It's a fish cake. It's not even fucking close to a donut. Yeah, just getting like real belligerent. Like, I don't understand. I'm pissed now. I'm mad. You're telling me Mario's <laughs> Japanese? He's a Japanese Italian man. He's a Japanese Italian man who collects coins like that. So this is this is just a little gif uh, for uh, me right on. Do I have that backwards? Me right on's future, right? Yeah, that's me right on. That's right. Okay, yeah. Uh, from uh, Omnio uh, is just a neat little uh, short gif of a rabbit just riding, just riding, just getting it. Hell yeah! City pop in the background. Yeah, lo-fi yeah. beats to, to chill and study, too. Lo-fi yeah. beats to ride your Pokemon, to ride, too. Ride the Mon, too. Don't say ride your Pokemon, so yeah. sexual. <laughs> uh, next up, going into some Reddit stuff. Uh, from Obscure Pokemon Facts. Um... I think I did know this one, but probably didn't recollect it. It's just a neat little thing. If you don't, if you didn't notice, for Diamond and Pearl, the Spear pair, uh, Pillars layout is different, is mirrored between the two versions. No, other I didn't than know the top that. two ones. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. I didn't know that because I yeah. didn't run around in the Sky Pillar or a uh, yeah Spear Pillar. I just ran straight straight to the battle. I bet. Yeah, just hold hold forward to win. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, next that. up, I've been yeah. seeing uh, a lot of these pixel art things show up, I guess, with this new some kind of pixel program called a -S -S Sprite. Oh. A Sprite. Whoa. Uh, I keep seeing them popped up. I There's a website for the program or a uh, like little tool thing. I haven't messed around with it, but I keep seeing these pop up, so it's something I'm going to have to check out. But here's a Kyogre. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Fight bag run. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Wilmore's like, uh, no, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> but this was posted by Our Call Two, and then I have another one with an Arceus uh, using that same program. Pretty. It's the same person, Our Call Two. It's like, uh, yeah, it's that nice little blend between like pixel, but not too pixel. Like, uh, it's a cool little effect. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. It's you not... Zoom and then you see the pixels. Yeah, it's pixel, but it's not like eight bit or nothing. It's like pixel art. No, yeah, it's a super detailed pixel art. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I like that style a lot. Yeah, that's pretty. So I'll have, to, I'll have to mess with that program at some point. Next up, uh, it's just a cool tattoo I found. From Magic Dragon ninety six, got a sick, sick hellhound here. Nice. So I'm a little jelly of. Bloody sick. I like it. Very cool. Nice. Oh, uh, what else do I got? Uh. Oh yeah, uh, I believe. I talked about this person before. I'm actually going to double check. It was like the travel posters, like one that was an electric company that had a Joltik, I think. Mm. And yeah, the plus or minus helping hand. Yeah, you remember these? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, there's the Joltik one. Cute. Yeah, so we got uh, another. Uh, Welcome to the islands of Alola. Book your tour at Pelipper Travels. <laughs> islands Alola. Okay, yeah. Pelipper Travel. Yep. Fuck yeah. Uh, then we got Milk Tank. Full cream milk, 100% grass fed, 100% organic. Your daily milk punch. God. <laughs> now I just want a move called Milk Punch. Yeah. Just squirt a little milk on your And hand. then we got. Oh, God. Okay, but what would Milk Hadios. Punch do? Hang on. You can't just yell Milk Punch at me and then move on. What the fuck would that do? <laughs> I. Pour a little milk on their, their it, little hoop. Thing. Like, would it heal okay. yourself after you punch them, or like, like you punch? No, them it's like a distraction. A you like you you squirt them in the eye with milk, and then you punch them. It's like sucker punch, but it'd be normal type. So it's a punch move that lowers their accuracy. Yeah, or has a chance to flinch. Could you get milk squirted in your eye? God damn it! Yeah, I like it. Yeah, and then if they yeah. flinch, you get a second hit. Well, you get to go first the next round or uh, something. 
yeah, that's what that would mean. Yeah. Yeah. So that would be. And then we got Kenios La Intrepidi Cirque de Illumis. Illumis? Yeah. Yeah. So some kind of circus act, basically. I like it. Mm-hmm. 150 pokey for two entries, apparently. I guess you get to come back later or you get to give a ticket to somebody. I don't know. <laughs> you have to buy two tickets minimum, apparently. Yes. <laughs> uh, and then uh, I got some cool 3D printed art of this Gengar jumping out of a Game Boy. Ooh, cool. Ooh, that's dope. Hell yeah. August yeah, this is That's sick. This is very cool. Yeah, and this is from uh, hopefully let's see, what's season I got uh, Patreon, whatever this cloud thing is, Insta, Facebook. So uh, probably if you join their Patreon, you probably get the STL file, and you can download this and have your own uh, painting required. I assume. That's very cool. <laughs> It was really cool. I'm guessing they got, I don't know if that's just like the photography or if they actually got like a backlight in there that kind of, oh man, that would actually be not fun to print, actually, if you'd have to use some kind of clear resin or something or yeah. just paint over the other half really heavy. I don't know, but that's really cool. Yeah. This might just be like a 3D uh, render also. But uh, I like it. I can dig. I want it's one. Cool, yeah. Yeah. Love to have one of those on my desk, especially get lit up like that. Yep. And then uh, sticking with the Game Boy theme, we got some Rotom based on Game Boy cartridges to oh. uh, change its type, basically. Oh, that's fucking cool. Ooh. By Caligo Milites, it's the Rotom Game Boy Ghost Normal. Dex entry, Rotom has possessed an old Game Boy. When the trainer <laughs> neglects his Rotom, it deletes the old saves from the cartridges. Oh, Each no. edition gives this Pokemon different elements. If the Rotom loves his trainer, then it can repair old consoles and also restore save files. Yes. <laughs> the yellow edition, the red edition, that's cute. Yeah, I think that's funny. Yeah. I thought that was neat. Um... And then I think I got one last thing. Yeah, I got one last thing. So I've been doing... Uh, I don't remember how long this video is, so we may not have to watch the whole thing. Uh, two minutes. Okay, yeah. So I've been doing my nose log. Uh, I don't even know who this person streaming is, but somebody posted this clip of them doing a nose log and uh, having a bad time. Oh, no. <laughs> Worst time that I had? <laughs> <laughs> if I can baton pass, so he just got parish song and he's on one parish song count left. Baton pass is gonna fail, and I'm gonna die to parish. Oh, he's also confused. So he just got he's got one parish song count left, and he's confused. And he's doing a nuzlocke. Why would you take that risk? What yeah, I chance? agree with chat. What just swap chance? out. What the fuck Someone is wrong with number. you? What is the chance that you that's, hit yourself? That's the correct answer. Either that's you not what he does. Why? What is the chance? <laughs> You're what asking chance? chat and they're telling you. Don't tell Don't me the fucking it. numbers. Never tell me the numbers. I snap out of confusion <laughs> every time. Yeah, baton, baton pass successful. You know what happens next? But here's the problem. Yeah. Do I swap do? into a ground type? No. Why would you? He's do contemplating that? switching, and like it doesn't matter what you switch to, it's already dead. I don't think I can swap into Pikachu here. I mean, what you do? You do your level Mayla. fifty-three. Your you one Geraldine or there. You fuck take Man it out. Someone's of dead type? anyway, right? I think Donphan would get dominated. You know, you understand what Baton Pass does, right? What? Boom. Yeah. What? I 
No, oh, but that's what I'm saying. No, the other one was already almost dead. <laughs> yeah, but he wasn't thinking. He was just like, oh, what am I going to switch into? And he didn't realize the baton pass passed the parish count. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. No, you didn't Did swap. Yeah, well, he didn't realize. Yes? Yeah, that carries it with it, I think. Then why wouldn't you tell me? I didn't mean, I thought you'd swap normally, you no? Why wouldn't you tell me? I'm doing, I'm doing my own He thought fight. he was what good. Do I, what do you want me to do? I'm what? doing my own fight. How? I'm doing my own how? rival fight. How? 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 Am I supposed to know the baton pass takes Perish song with it? You're That's good, what the baton bitch! pass does. You're supposed to know that. <laughs> Sorry! It takes but, all, fuck, the, all the status and stuff. <laughs> You think? Use your fucking brain! God damn! People were telling him to switch, too. I what know, the whole chat was like, don't do that, fucking idiot! It's actually, there was, it was actually more people telling him to do it, because it, it, the chat's going by fast, but as soon as he did it at one point, somebody in chat goes, we got him, chat. <laughs> <laughs> we got him. <laughs> Tango down. We <laughs> got him. Yeah, we, we tricked him. God oh, damn it, dude. That's fucking... That's brutal. I, uh, so, speaking of Nestlox G, uh, I've been working very, very, very diligently and not streaming at all trying to get my Nintendo Switch to be hacked. My old one that broke. Can't figure out how to get a DS emulator to work, so I gotta work on that even more, so. Okay. But, if I can get it to work successfully, do you think it would work? Because then I would have it docked through my game capture, right? And then I can play it, and it doesn't yeah. lag as bad. Ooh, actually. <laughs> no. How are you going to access the touchscreen while you're in docked mode? Why do I need the touchscreen? For DS games? Do you ever do the touch screen? Some do. Um, I think you can There's still... going to be some point in the run where you're going to have to use a touch screen. Well, the thing, the thing is, it's just running Linux. So, like, I can have a mouse plugged into it and just do the touch screen, probably. Um, I think most of the games, you could still use the D-pad and the A and B button. I know I did. But the touch screen does make it easier sometimes. I'm trying to think. You don't use the touch I, Yeah, I don't know. Good luck with that. I'll figure it out later. I think really the only place you would use a touch screen would be like Diamond and Pearl and Platinum. But not even that much. You don't really use it that much. I'm trying to think. Black and white, you don't really use it because it's just got your C gear at the bottom. Also, Gale of Darkness ran like ass too. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't... <laughs> What? Oh, you're talking on the Switch. Yeah, on my Switch. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> anyway. It's a really roundabout way to do it, but yeah, I guess it will work technically. Well, yeah, I ain't got no money, alright? It costs nothing to hack a Switch. Uh... What yeah, I need the to... money. Hey, go to cbx.com slash grass, get twenty percent off any order. <laughs> Shameless self promotion. <laughs> <laughs> What's shame? Yeah, my nose looks going pretty good. Uh I just got a squirtle <coughs> that is now a war turtle, and it has color change, which I thought was pretty awesome. Color change do. Uh, when you're hit with a move, it changes your type. It's Kecleon's yeah. ability. Oh, fuck. So, yeah. like, if you hit it with a grass-type move, it turns into a grass-type Pokemon. That's pretty cool. And it's a bla it'll be a Blastoise eventually, which are tanky as oh, all yeah. get out. So, uh, he can eat a grass or electric move. It'll be super effective, but they'll get that one. And then it's like, all right, go ahead, hit me with another. Yeah. Not gonna do anything. Yeah, yeah, find a bunch of iron or whatever to boost up its defense, too. Oh, they're already really tanky. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but add to it. Uh, Make it unstoppable. I actually have Pokemon in reserve this time. Like, it's going good. Uh, I've only had one death. <laughs> and it was one of the gift Pokemon. It was the one uh, you go to that research laboratory and you get the deerling. 
but all the gift Pokemon are randomized, except for the Zorora. I don't know if the Zorora randomized to a Zorora, or if that one didn't get randomized for whatever, but I got that. That was You get that from, uh, what's his name? Uh, is it in uh, Zorora? Yeah. I think that one's a story gift, so that's probably why it wasn't randomized. Yeah, I guess, yeah. But it's, uh, right after that, then there's the Deerling, and that was a uh, Grand Bowl. And then I went into the secret grotto and got a Rampardos, and he oh. used rollout, and I got scared, so uh, I didn't want to sacrifice anything else, so I threw out Grand Bull, and I knew Grand Bull for like a total of five minutes, but then we got a, a Rampardos, so uh, that, that was out. my only death in this run so far. Uh, yeah, my team, I have Charmeleon, Dragonite, Wartortle, Garchomp, Lucario, and then uh, I have like five or six in reserve. I'm swapping between, but yeah, the team the team's good. I like it. Cool, nice. I also have a Drapion with color change, so I have two color change Pokemon. So shenanigans. Oh, yeah, cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, no. Yeah. So, uh, not trying to tell you what to do, but I can't fucking watch it on Twitch. It just won't let me ever. Like, I'll drop something in the chat, and then it'll immediately stop working, and then just not let me do anything. I don't know if my internet's shitty, or what, but it just, I, none of my shit works on Twitch. You need to also go to YouTube, too, is all I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that, man. All right, Pokey Geek, you got stuff? Yeah, I got some stuff. I'm going to start out with a uh, fake mon just to get us started, get our toes wet. Blue Sea Dragon. Oh my gosh. Felimar Picta. It's supposed to be a sea slug. I like it. Here's the baby. That's a Digimon. <laughs> that, yeah. that is a Digimon. That one looks like a Digimon. Definitely. This is what it's based off of. That's very cool. Yep, very cool. Oh, I don't remember what it's called, but there's a Digimon that looks almost spot on today. Oh, here it is. I found it. Oh, no way. Like, the, the fins, like, the leg, the little leg fins with claws, like, They're straight up. <laughs> Just hover over and get launch here. It's trying to live. Oh, yep. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, that's the Digimon. Totally probably what it's based off of is that little animal too. <laughs> yeah. Where do I stop watching? Okay. So I don't know where I want to start. I got I got quite a few things okay, in here. Let's check it out. So this Twitter link, Pokemon has revealed their fall Halloween theme. Every year, Pokemon has a new Halloween theme. And this year, we've got... Uh, looks like Gengar with a scarf and a witch hat. That's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, he's got a little bag of candy, too. Mm -hmm. We got calories. Oh, the Crobat cookies in there or something. Oh, that's cute. Or the Golbat or, cookies. Uh, girl, Golbat, yeah. Um, More than likely, we'll, de we'll, mean, we'll definitely have a... Uh, Plush of Pikachu. We'll get merchandise of Pikachu. I'd say probably full picks. Probably. Oh, I've noticed all the foxes here. We got a couple of foxes here. Yeah. Three foxes. Yep. Very see nice. See the Greedent? Yep. I see the Greedent. Lots of lots of eating. Put Calyrex up there. Calyrex. Yep. Applin. That Bainet. Oh, God. Dancing. That Bidoof's eating that Applin. <gasps> no! No! <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Uh, you lurking. Just about everything that has a costume on, expect that's going to have merchandise of it. Oh, I bet. Fucking Mimikyu down there lurking. Sure. Yep, yep. All right. Um, This is a prediction. Uh, well, no, I won't go into Cyclozar yet. Gee, you pulled this up while ago. Uh, I didn't grab the whole thing, but we can look at this. Uh page or this it's from a book and i actually should have grabbed the video or grabbed the other page because there was also a meowth that they were going to make yeah this is an interactive pikachu lets you be a real pokemon trainer 
And we can barely read that text. But His basically, cheeks glow, right? Yep. Basically, it's a Tamagotchi Pikachu. Or not Tamagotchi. A, a Furby, Pikachu. Furby Pikachu. It's got eyes that blink. It's got a mouth that opens and closes, maybe. I don't know if it opens and closes. And its cheeks light up. And it was supposed to be able to wag its tail. Pikachu learns and evolves after time using voice, voice recognition, recognition technology and uh, interaction with the child. Very cool. Very cool. I would like to interact with the child. <laughs> All right. Uh, no. What do you got going on over there, G? What are you going live about? It's just it's the video for that that goes with it. Oh. That's... Oh, okay. Grammatical on fucking. That's point. not the Pikachu though. That's not it. Oh, it's it's not. That's the one that was released. I have that one. Oh. It, this Tamagotchi could open and close its eyes, move its tail. Oh, right. Yeah, there's eyelids on the other one. The Tamagotchi right Pikachu was never released. This is a very close lookalike that did get released. Yes, very close. But it's not the same thing. I have this one. I have two of three of these. Too many. I have too many. What the fuck? Why do you have three of them? I got two of them from a friend. Jesus. All right. <laughs> uh... But I have my penny up on the shelf. Um... All right, that's a video we need to watch. Okay, I'll get into Cyclozar now. So here's a, if I can get it to come up, some discussion on Cyclozar. Cool little detail I haven't seen many people mention regarding Koraidon, Cyclozard, and Miraidon. It's pretty clear that it's meant to be a midway point for the two legendaries, but it's green as it is the midway point of the light spectrum. So we got red, we got purple, and we got green. <laughs> Is that because of time travel and stuff? Because people say that you have to travel faster than the speed of light to time travel, right? Um, I don't know. All right, I got more Cyclozar stuff. There's the commercial. Uh, it's from that same Twitter post, Finn, Blue Boy Finn over on YouTube, I guess, has a whole video about it, but... Is Looks like they got the commercial for it here at the beginning. Oh, okay. There's Furbies in that one. Need a baby. Furby baby. Oh, okay, that was the wrong VHS. Yep, we watched this video. Oh, that's embarrassing. Let me just slip the right one in here. Okay, there we go. All right, let's set the scene. 1990. Oh, well, I thought it had the commercial right there. Uh, If you want to oh, skip through, yeah. it'll show the Pikachu, too. It's not the same toy, but it looks like it. Yep. Yep, this is that video we watched. Yep, this is the video we watched. Uh, go ahead and uh, tell us who that guy is, because I could not oh, I, just... I already did. Blue Boy I Finn. already did. Blue Boy Finn o over on YouTube. That's the first thing I said before I started the video. Good, because yep. I fucking didn't hear you. Thank you. <laughs> uh-huh. Yep. Uh, okay, I thought it had the commercial for it, but I guess because it wasn't actually released, maybe there's not a commercial. Uh... uh... I don't know if you want to scroll through the whole thing, but it will show the page of the Meowth, too. There was a Meowth that, uh... Yep, there it was. Yeah, we're back there. <laughs> I don't like the eyes on that Meowth. Right? I don't like the eyes on either of them. The Pikachu <laughs> looked angry. Yeah, the Pikachu looked pissed off. I don't know if you watched this video, G, but, uh... In the video, he talks about that they could talk to each other. You could set... Like Furbies. You could set that Meowth and that Pikachu down, and they would talk to each other. I wonder if Meowth would have said Meowth, or if it would have had Meowth's uh, like meow, voice actor. Meow, 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 meow. Yeah. Hmm. Do you think that Meowth's mouth opens? Uh, I don't know. If it did, it'd probably be fucking disturbing. That's probably why it didn't get released. Um. I mean, what it is is there's a little like mechanical lever, and it's just the sewn over fabric, and like it, there's just like a little lever behind the fabric that makes it look like there's a jaw moving, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. Goodness. Yeah, the eyes on the eyes on that meowth are not okay. No, no, they're not. I agree. <laughs> they remind me of I have one. They, so similar to the Pikachu that was released, there was also like a Togepi and a Mew. And I have I have the Mew as well. The Mew looks so bad. Its eyes are all weird. Its eyes do move back and forth and its tail moves, but it's it's ugly. It's ugly as sin. <laughs> <laughs> uh 
Anyway, back to Cyclozar. This was a shiny prediction, and I personally think this should be the shiny prediction that we get. It is, um... Did I already pull this up? No, it just automatically does it. It's just afraid of go and close it. Is it the same post? No, close the first one. Okay. Yeah. It keeps opening the Halloween one. It just opens the previous post that you just did. Okay. It's brave. Shoe sixty four. So here's some. Inf so this. So there is. It, there it is. Interesting. Cyclozar is the same color as the substitute doll. So for the shiny color, I thought the one from Pokemon Stadium. It was blue gray. Oh shit! Yeah. And it's a little ride on. I mean, it doesn't have a white belly, but. It's a ride on in a. Yeah. A stadium. I like that. I think it looks yeah. good gray. Yeah. I think it does too. And I like the reference to stadium. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, we need for the fucking sixty four thing. It would actually make the online worth it if we had both on stadium and we can more battle online. Stuff. I mean, I'll just plug in my N sixty four. So, are you gonna play <laughs> online with your sixty four G? What do I need to play stadium online for? Mini games. So you can battle people online and also do mini games online. Eh. This is from uh, Soul Silver Art. Some proof that Cyclozar is not a legendary pre-evolution of the box legends. I, I ex explained in depth why this doesn't make sense. First, red flag uh, is why the why didn't the Pokemon Company just reveal it as their pre-evolution if it was? Second, if the official Japanese website did not put Cyclozar in the legendary category, legendary these are regular Pokemon. Yeah, it's technically not a legendary, the Cyclozar, because they wanted to make it to where it was ready for competition, right? Mm -hmm. That's just, that was just a uh, theory that somebody posted about Cyclozar. Um, let me make sure, oh, I've got this video. Do you want me to, tr it's from Twitter, I should be able to, right? You can try. Uh, grammatical. I hope it is a pre evolution I hope it is. <laughs> just a, just a, yeah. <laughs> well, well, technically, uh, this is what's probably gonna be. Technically, it is, but it's not. That's what it. That's what's gonna yeah. be. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not gonna be classified as legendary, so it can be used in competition. Flying Pikachu versus Flying Pikachu. This person that we've been doing the three D realistic, uh, well, Ken Mori style art. <laughs> We're sitting here talking about Pokemans. And guess what's trending on fucking Twitter? Christian? Apparently. CWC? Christian Weston Chandler? Goodness. Um, okay, and then I do have a video here, but we can wait. It is a song that the Pokemon Company released. I think it's we'll supposed to... get fucking popped immediately. You think so? Yeah, I was like... Every time we do this, it gets, it gets popped. Okay. Especially on YouTube. Like, it might fly on Rumble, but. All right, not all on right. YouTube. All right, well, then I'll get into some leaks then. Our, our weekly. Our, our weekly leak. Our weekly leaks. Garden Arnold. I'm so over leaks. I'm so over leaks. You're so excited? <laughs> oh, grandmatical. No, You're so excited. I don't care anymore. He's so excited for the leaks. <laughs> you get or um you gain freedom about two hours of game uh at, at about two hours of gameplay. You unlock Co Raidon Jesus. Co Raidon, Mi Raidon, basic ride form for traveling and jumping at that time. You unlock the swimming, flying, climbing forms later in the game. Oh, what the fuck? So two hours in we'll still be fucking trying to do Sounds like it's two hours worth of fucking tutorial, uh, tutorial. Fuck. only oh, after, i hate it <laughs> only after the ending can you add correct me right on core right onto your team oh the starter shiny locked probably the icicle glacier pokemon we've heard it heard before is actually the dragon ice pseudo okay the three fantastical element dogs fairy fido ghost and dark are all monotype two stage dolphin pokemon is water there's apparently a Oh gosh, a mar marsup or marsupial with par a parental bond, 
or something Mega Kangaskhan related. That that was K Mega Kangaskhan's um ability was parental bond. Um, a tumbleweed Pokemon is grass plus question mark the ground. Yeah. Um, new worm Pokemon is Steel type. Uh, Leaker say says the coin Pokemon isn't hard to find though the evolution is ex. Including Paradox Pokemon, he thinks the hardest Pokemon in to get is Primeape's evolution. Oh. To evolve the new Fire Pokemon, that evolves into the Warrior slash Blade, depending on the version. Uh, Sinistee and Bronzor drop a new item when defeated. You get ten of those, depending on the version, to evolve to the new Fire-type Pokemon. All Paradox Pokemon are double-type. Some Paradox Pokemon change their type compared to the Pokemon they're based on while others preserve the typings. Pseudo, or Paradox Salamence swaps the flying type for something else, into something else. Dragon. Uh, weekly reminder that Paradox Pokemon are brand new Pokemon, not forms. Multiple OP abilities got nerfed hard. For example, some can only be activated once per, t per battle now. That's interesting. Abilities can only be activated once per turn now? Uh, I don't that I that's don't weird. Feel about that. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. So I mean, OP. They're talking about OP stat or ability. So not like, not like static. But gosh, can you imagine only having poison point or static work once during battle, per once per battle? Uh, that's probably what they're talking about. Well, it says OP abilities got nerfed hard. So I don't know if that counts. As Depends on their version of OP and my version of OP, I guess. Uh, of, first thing I think of is sturdy. Yeah. Sturdy. It says one of those is Zacian's in Intrepid Sword. Apparently Kyogre will be in the game, probably home transfer only, and will be a threat in competitive. Oh. oh. The common rider Okay. <laughs> the common rider inspired Pokemon has a new type combination. A gimmick of the gimmick of the gym leaders in Elite Four this generation is that they will use Pokemon that are not of their type, but will terrestrialize them. That sounds kind of cool. That kind of gives us some. That kind of oh. gives you some room for strategy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just to clarify, even though Zacian's ability was adjusted, it's not in the game. Maybe in DLC, probably be able to transfer it over. Protein got nerfed. No! What does that even... So, like, you can't keep changing your type every... Yeah, how does that work? You only can change once per move, like, per battle. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It says it got nerfed. I don't understand that. I don't know if I feel about that. I don't know how that works. Because Lab no. Labrio is, like, the same, too. Yeah, like, how does that work exactly? Most old yeah, pseudos... Yeah, I want my doubles team with Protean and Libero. Like, I want that doubles team. I know. Oh, dude. <laughs> I just I wanted Protean so bad in Sword and Shield, but no. Throw Kecleon on No X and Ys. Most... No, because Kecleon is... You have to get hit with that move. I mean, it's the same thing, but it's yeah. not from you using the move. It's from you getting hit. The yeah. other two are from you using the move. It's yeah. on theme. It is on theme. <laughs> It's it triggers differently though. Yep. Most old pseudos are in the game. In fact, only two didn't make it in. Paradox Pokemon are not ancestors or descendants. The word should be taken more literally, a paradox. So it's not a future or past form, it's more of this. All these Pokemon are doomed. Basically, these Pokemon should not exist. A time anomaly or some sort of alternate dimension paradox made these Pokemon come into existence, and they should not exist. Yeah. Um, ostrich Pokemon is pure psychic. Crab Boss Pokemon is rock. Coin Pokemon can have different colors. That sounds cool. Ooh. The Rodent Pokemon with Parental Bond starts as a couple, then evolves into a family. Oh, that sounds cute. What was it? The Rodent? Uh, the Rodent Pokemon with Parental Bond starts as a couple and evolves into a family. That's really cute. That is cool. I like that. Uh, Grasshopper Common Rider Pokemon might be the Bug Dragon to stage, which is a new, that is a new type combination, Bug Dragon. Oh. Diglett's, uh, 
Convergent species is pure water. Okay, so I guess they're going to call those convergent. Now convergent now, if you want to fuck call it that, I guess. Well, I mean, I, I like that. I mean, I don't like it better than regional fake, but... Williams and Mary, thanks for the follow, I Thank guess. you for the follow. You're an adorable Eevee. If you want to be something else, type it out in the chat and we can change it up. As long as you're not one of those robots. <laughs> um... To, to be clear, it's either going to be Bug Dragon or Bug Dark. Uh, do we have a dark a Bug Dark type? I don't know if we do. I don't know. Uh, Is Eerie a Ghost Bug Dark? I think so. Poison Bug. Okay. Uh, Tauros forms, because there, there was a leak that we were going to have multiple Tauros forms. So we got Normal, Fighting... Fighting fire and fighting ice or water, so it'll be a blue one. <coughs> the pepper Pokemon is Sorry. is a two heads kappa. Oh. The um what? Like a salt and pepper kappa? I guess so. What'd you do? Yeah, you did I it. I don't think there is a bug dark. How did I do that? You typed something on the keyboard with your coconut shell. Oops. Um, uh, the Hake fish is a dual type. The Ai Ai Pokemon has a pre-evolution that looks like a mouse. Ooh. The Steel Worm is 2.5 millimeters long, or meters, meters long. long. There are certain details about <laughs> Paradox Pokemon that are leaking, but it looks like Paradox Pokemon and their relationship with the legendaries and the region is a very big spoiler as they have a role <laughs> in the story. Oh. Here are the four hints about that, though. Okay, I don't, I don't. I, do you guys want to get into story stuff? Not really. Okay. Um, let me make sure. I don't I'm story. just spoiled. Okay, I don't. I think... don't care either way. I'm just over leaks. <sighs> all right. I don't know. Skull Pokemon is a three stage one that looks like a Minecraft character. Quote quote. Oh. I hate it. Look, what there... Minecraft character would it be though? Probably. How many Minecraft characters are there? Isn't there just creepers and people? Well, uh, and pigs. Steve and. And Enderman, and like, there's all kinds of... Probably just ways. Square. No fucking Minecraft? Uh, there's a Sushi Chef Pokemon. It's apparently a catfish. Also could be Water Dragon. The leaker doesn't remember exactly. The Pepper Kappa Pokemon is a two-stage. Abra Line is not in. Clef Key is. The new star Spider Pokemon evolves. There's a new Ghost Slash Fairy Pokemon. Ooh, wait, hang on. What's the weakness on a Ghost Fairy? Poison, steel, steel. dark, oh, no, not dark, uh, no, not dark, is ghost weak against ghost? Yeah. Yeah, Go so another ghost. But, it's, wait, does fairy not have a resistance ghost? I don't think so, it does a, re a resistance to dark, it's not resistant to dark, it's just not very effective, right? Yeah. It has a resistance to, to dragon. It's immune to dragon. I yeah. Thought. Yeah, it's that's what I said. Okay. Um, Paradox Hydreigon confirmed. One Paradox Volcarona switches fire type. The other switches bug type. Paradox Delibird switches its flying type. Ooh. Oh, this was going to come later. I've got a post about this, but this is a leaked Pokemon. Probably the Hake Fish or maybe even the Steel Worm that they've been talking about. A correction. The Sushi Chef... Catfish is pure water. It is the sushi Pokemon that is Water Dragon. Hake Fish doesn't evolve. The new Scarab Pokemon is not Bug Ground. Oh gosh. Oh, then those are replies, I think. The vari various champions of the League have already been shown in the trailer. Also, a reminder because of these... Okay, I think... Okay, no, hold on. It is uh, previously officially revealed that Pokemon in Paldea... There are multiple trainers who have champion rank. There isn't just one. Um, okay. While we don't have more details yet, it seems a new system to get eggs is more passive and better for busy people. Sounds like it may now be time-based instead of input-slash-step-based. Poison Flower is dual type. Scarab Pokemon first stage is Bug. Second stage is Bug Psychic. <laughs> Sorry. You're hitting stuff on your keyboard. Yeah, it's my hotkey. 
Um, Blue Tauros is fighting water type. Paradox Gallade is fighting question mark. Chandelure, Minior, and Greninja aren't in the game. So no so why did they nerf Protean then? Yeah. Paradox Amoongus, which is Well that makes me think one of those two are not real. So like they're throwing fake shit in here too. If any of this is real anyway. Yeah, if these are just supposed leaks. Um Paradox Amoongus switches its poison type into something else. Paradox Gallade switches its psychic type. Paradox Hariyama switches its dark type. Hariyama does isn't dark. Paradox Gallade switches its psychic type. Paradox uh, Mistrebus is apparently ghost fairy. Sorry, we completely. Oh yeah, I was gonna say Hariyama is not dark type. I was gonna say what the fuck. <laughs> Common Rider Grasshopper is bug dark. Uh, okay. Poison Flower is Poison Rock. Tumbleweed is Grass Ghost. Cool. Uh, Meowstic is not in. Oricorio is in. Oh, goody. You can catch... Yeah, why? <laughs> you can <laughs> catch Paradox Pokemon almost at the end of the game. Paradox Jigglypuff switches its normal type. There is a new mechanic for catching wild Pokemon that is described as a non-battle battle. So, like, let's go Pikachu and Eevee. Bustle and Mining aren't in the game. Snubble's not in. Poliwag is not in, but Leaker said maybe something else DLC. Fido's Evolution is red and brown. Oh, and we completely forgot to tell you that there's a new frog Pokemon, Electric Psychic. The engine Pokemon has tires, not legs. Oh. So that was update uh, 16. Whoa. Yep, yep. I know you're excited, G. I know how excited you are about these leak updates. I'm gonna try not to get into. It really just makes me want to start. It really just makes me want to start just making crap up and throwing it out there. Yeah. <laughs> right. Part seventeen. Uh, new breeding mechanics. You get eggs in the new Pokemon Picnic. We don't know exactly how it works. For hatching eggs, incubators Fucking appear. Even the old breeder man doesn't know how it quite works. <laughs> you put eggs in incubators and wait. Walking in game may make hatching eggs faster. Fucking better. Yeah. What else like, the fuck are we supposed to do? Yeah, like when they said, oh, it's time based, that really pissed me off. That's for getting an egg. Instead oh. of instead of it being step input, running around in a circle till another egg shows up, it's time. And then this is saying that we put the eggs in an incubator like Physically, I guess, and then it's gonna be like and you run around with the incubator like Pokemon Go. Yeah. yeah, it's probably it's probably just like Pokemon Go. Yeah. Leaker said that hatching an egg in an incubator may take one to two one to two hours. Goodness. Note that we think this is very unlikely. The maybe that's gonna be brutal in this game. Maybe that's the time while being completely standstill, or there's a way to upgrade the incubators. Please note that the last point. Um, about walking to make the eggs hatch faster is speculation. The only thing that the leaker explicitly said was that it takes one to two hours. Oh, that was a short update. I don't, that was just the, the breeding mechanics. Huh. Alright, here's 18. I know 18. 18's about Paradox Pokemon. It's more information about Paradox Pokemon. Okay. I can do that. Potential Paradox Pokemon typings based on old leakers' hints. All of these is speculation, so no, this is speculation and hasn't been explicitly confirmed yet. Ancient Paradox Volcarona, Bug Fighting, Future Paradox Volcarona, Poison Fire. Paradox Delibird, Ice Water, uh, Paradox, Past Paradox, Dawn Fan, Ground Electric, Future Paradox, Dawn Fan, Ground Fighting. Paradox, uh, Zuelis, Dark Flying. Note that we're not completely sure it is which for Dawn Fan and Volcarona. It could be switched. Uh, Paradox Gallade, Fairy Fighting. Paradox Mistrevis, Ghost Fairy. Also a reminder that instead of Zuelis, it could be Hydreigon. We don't know yet. Um, and the electric typing makes more sense for future Dawn Fan. Uh, just reminders, we also, I have already told both things before. We, we already told both things before. So that means it has to be true. Right? Possibly. Right? I love how they're like, oh, 
Well, this one just, you know, we, we don't know quite yet, but uh, the rest of it, solid, solid shit right there. <laughs> like, I imagine them just placing a chip on the board, like, yeah, we're putting it all on this one, we're gonna double down on this one. Yeah. I'd like to see the fucking strings and wires that they put up all over their office while they're fucking putting all this shit together. But... Oh, no. Oh, okay, no, this is right. Oh, not not this thing again. This is uh, updated August 28th, which is today. Okay, what did it update, though? What is I, this? I don't know. Nothing's loading. 80 new Pokemon, 4 regional fakes, 5 cross-gen evolutions, 14 paradox forms, 2 DLC, and 4 regional forms. Yeah, nothing's... Oh, 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 oh. Taking Ugh. forever to load. We probably won't look at all of this. I just wanted to see what was updated. Uh, yeah, it's it's taken forever. We won't ha we don't have to look at this. It's high quality images, and I have shitty fucking tech. But you know, these these things happen. Just whatever you want to do. That's I think that's all I had. I mean, we really already covered this, right? Yeah. I mean, this is everything we just talked about, and it's yeah. just going to be fan art images. It's nothing official. Yep, exactly. Yeah, exactly. All right, well, these things happen. Anything else, Poke Geek? Um, I don't know what that Pokemon Masters. Oh, that that's um, Pokemon Masters is doing a giveaway. Uh, it's their third third year anniversary. So, um, I haven't entered to win this yet, but you enter and you can get stuff i don't remember what there is Good things. this is our campaign to oh, enter it's... the ultimate trainer bundle featuring complete set of the pokemon adventures collector edition manga uh trainers apparel and three thousand three thirty three thousand three hundred gems oh boy oh, what a oh boy master's journey sweepstakes bada boom bada bing he is those shirts things. are kind of cool shirts are win one of the shirts it says so yeah, you can you can win these things if you uh, get down. Yep. And well, that's all I had. Interesting stuff. If you like the stream, yeah, thirty three thousand gems is probably like ten poles too. I don't know. I don't play I masters. I don't know how masters works, man. I honestly thought it was just a thing where you could just talk to the different like gym leaders, but apparently there's a battle system now. I've never figured out how to battle in that. I don't know how that shit works. <laughs> But I, I like talking it's to like lane battles. It's like three on three lane battles. I'm sure that means I, I don't know what fuck lane battles is. Did you say lane or lane? Lane. Okay. I'm fucking retarded. I don't know what you want from me, man. <laughs> what is a lane battle, G? It's it's a lane. You fight whatever is in front of you, and you have it's a three on three. And uh, I don't. I played it like once. I don't know. All right. So it's just like your troops, my troops. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, basically. Oh, okay. That's a way to do it, I guess. <laughs> uh, hey, if you like the stream, leave a like. If you don't like the stream, don't leave a like. I suppose. Uh, sub to the Professor Grass channel on Twitch on YouTube, and on Rumble, all the stuff that YouTube hates gets pushed over to Rumble, and Rumble likes everything we put over there, so get down on our Rumble, get on our Twitch, and get on our YouTube. Go over to Twitch and follow Grammatical. He does kick-ass gaming streams just all the time, and uh, he's got a kick-ass little overlay and stuff, and, uh, you know, he's... Uh, Done the Nuzlocke and stuff. What was you doing uh, recently? I thought I'd seen Fall Guys last time I tried to drop in, and then it switched fucked up on me. Oh, that was that was just game night yesterday, just playing some random games. We uh, we were going to play Fall Guys, but technical difficulties, and then we played... Um, we played Mario Kart, Jackbox, and Gartic Phone. So yeah, uh, go over to Grammatical and... It's up to his channel and check out what he's got going on over there. Uh, after this, yeah, it's it's good. Because I just got the Nuzlocke on Saturday is just like whatever. Uh, I'm working on the black version two Nuzlocke. I have four gyms down, four gyms to go. Fuck yeah. Um, 
after this, uh, a little bit later tonight, uh, we might be doing a high stream. Uh, I don't know uh, what you're going to be doing tonight, uh, grammatical, but uh, that's that's what we're uh, Poke Geek and I might be doing. All right, we're going to be streaming a little bit of Toon Heads. Some lost episodes of Toon Heads. So, uh, sub to the channels. Peace out, and always remember, hail Pokemon! Hail 